Three new construction developments in Peachtree City. Welcome to fabulous Fayette County. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my new content. Today, I'm exploring three new construction neighborhoods in Peachtree City. And the three I'm highlighting today are Towson Villages, Laurel Brook, and Mills Farms. All three are super different from each other and I'm excited to show you around today. So let's get started. First up is Towson Villages, which is a new 94 home development in Peachtree City. It's located off Georgia Highway 54 East near the intersection of Governor Square and Peachtree Court. In fact, it's actually right behind the office complex where my office is. The development is being built by Martin Dotson Homes and features these very unique modern English cottages. The homes range in size from about 1,800 square feet to 2,500 square feet and have three to four bedrooms and two to three bathrooms. Although I do know you can customize the homes to your needs. The development also has a community pool, playground, and walking trails. Towson Village is close to several grocery stores, restaurants, and shopping, everything that Peachtree City has to offer and might be attractive to a lot of people. It's also located within walking distance of Peachtree City Aquatic Center and the Peachtree City Tennis Center. If you are looking for a new home in Peachtree City, you should go check out Towson Village. The homes are priced starting around $840,000 and up, and the HOA fee is $1,550 a year, so they are on the more expensive side. The lots are also smaller at about only a quarter of an acre, but the development is expected to be finished in early 2024, and I know that pre-sales have already started. The build time is going to be between 8 and 12 months for these. Second is the mini village at Laurel Brook. These luxury custom homes, both single family and condominiums, range from 700,000 up to 2.5 million. These are in the heart of Peachtree City and the homes were designed by Jim Strickland to have a Charleston feel. They are built by Redwood Home Builders and Laurel Book in Peachtree City is the first live, work, walk community offering live and work commercial shops, 19 single family custom homes, six townhomes, two condominium buildings with underground parking garage and eight cottage tiny homes as nightly rentals. The town center is going to consist of 11 freestanding buildings where you can live on the top floor, work and have office at the bottom, or occupy both floors as office or retail. They have access to over 100 miles of golf cart trails, making this the perfect place to call home. Tucked away on a pocket of land off Floyd Gar Parkway, Georgia 54, it's a 10 acre tract in the woods that's become kind of the talk of the town. It's kind of the perfect storm of design and the city's need for redevelopment and a planned neighborhood. And it really emulates this North Cove neighborhood off Peachtree City Parkway. It's got narrow streets, brick sidewalks, lush landscaping, and this charming Savannah style homes and squares. This is a small mixed use neighborhood and it's certainly unique. Last but not least is Mill Farms. Mill Farms at Peachtree City is a new housing development located on the former site of Ashton Lane Farm off of Red Wine Road across from the Stars Mill School Complex. It will feature 74 single family homes on 12,000 square foot lots, so small again. These are going to be Jeff Lindsay community homes and they are starting to work on this development. The homes at Mill Farms at Peachtree City will be a mix of traditional and contemporary styles, and they will feature open floor pans, gourmet kitchens, and spacious master suites. The homes will also have private backyards, and some will have screened in porches or patios. The development is located in a desirable area of Peachtree City, and it's close also to shopping and dining and entertainment on the south end of Peachtree City. It's absolutely walking distance to Stars Mill High School complex, so that is going to be a huge draw. It's also connected to the golf cart paths, and the prices are expected to be on the lower end of what we've been talking about today. So 400,000, but we shall see. Okay guys, that's what I have for you today. That's a wrap. Three completely different 
different new construction options in Peachtree City right now in 2023. I look forward to watching these and keeping you updated. And of course, um, until next time, thanks guys. Thank you.